if you can successfully launch on the foil and swing in a straight line, you've actually found one or more ways to steer at least enough to correct for accidental course changes. Congratulations! The next logical step is to learn how to jive on the foil. Lots of people at that stage have heard about doing S-turns, but how you do them matters. This video will explain the method that works best for jibes. Then you can combine it with the glide and speed control exercises I've described in previous videos. You can use them to practice all the skills you need to jibe. As always, if you have not already, I recommend you watch and at least get started adopting the posture and control techniques I teach all my students. The instructions for all my videos work best in that context. Carving versus yaw swiveling turns. There are basically two ways to turn, carving and yawing. Yawing is when you swivel your foil board by shifting your wing from side to side. For jibes and most other purposes, carving works best. My rule of thumb is to carve whenever possible and yaw only when necessary. The challenge for beginners is that the method they learn to turn while taxiing is no longer preferred. Luckily, carving is the easiest, most efficient, and balanced way to turn. So with a little practice, it's often easy to make the transition. How to make carving S-turns. Start by going across the wind at a moderate speed. Initiate a downwind carving turn by pulling briefly on your back hand. As your weight shifts into the turn, use your back ankle to keep your foil mast aligned with your center. The back ankle can also make fine adjustments to the carve angle. Actually, you can think about this as simply shifting your weight onto the toes of your back foot, and your hours of wing handling practice will take care of the rest but I do think it's helpful to know how it really works. Turn back up into the wind by straightening your back arm for a moment to reduce the pull of the wing as you put your weight more onto your back heel. Focus on keeping your wing directly in front of you throughout the S-turn exercise. Continue to make S-turns, switching directions over and over. You could start with short, small turns and gradually make them bigger, or just go for it. Practice making sharp, small radius turns, and then gentle, wide radius ones, too. Play with it. How to turn when flagging your wing. To carve a turn to the left, you have to start by briefly leaning your foil board to the right. Once your weight starts to fall to the left, lean your foil board to the left, too, to keep the foil mast aimed straight to your center. As always, you must remain mindful of your flight control throughout the process to keep your foil board at a good height above the water. For example, let's say you're riding goofy foot and you want to turn to the left. Briefly put your weight onto your back heel. Wait until you are falling into your turn, then shift your weight to the back toe to make fine adjustments to the radius of your turn. To carve a sharper turn, wait until you're falling further into the turn before you shift your weight back onto your toe. The principal technique is the same in either foot stance. Angle your foil board briefly in the opposite direction to initiate your turn. How to use my exercises to learn foiling jibes. To learn foiling jibes, first practice S-turns, then do the speed control exercise, and finally the glide exercise. Once you have mastered each fairly well, your next jibe attempts are much more likely to succeed. When jibing, if you fall to the side, do more speed and S-turn exercises. If you breach or fall off the foil, do more glides. You can coach yourself. Why these techniques work? When you change course, centrifugal force will tend to throw you out away from the center of the turn. The two methods of carving turn described in this video provide the counterforce to initiate the turn from the wind on the wing gravity, or combination of both. This is pretty clear in the case of powered up S-turns, but what happens when we're flagging the wing? Without the wing to help us initiate a turn, we must do so by steering the foil. For example, to go left, we need our weight to be leaning to the left as we carve the turn. Turning your foil board to the right briefly moves the foil out from underneath you, so you start to fall to the left. 
This counter-steering technique is particularly needed with foiling because of the distance between the foil's lift and the small footprint of our stance on the board. But for a surfer on a traditional board to make a radical bottom turn, for example, they will have to use this counter-steering technique too. Why carving turns is preferred over yawing. Here are the most important reasons carving is preferred over yawing. You need to lean into the turn anyway to counter centrifugal force, so initiating by carving does it all. In contrast with yawing, you have to lean the board over into the turn as a second step or side effect. Simple is best. Keeping the wing and its force vector aligned with your center makes it easier to control its flight path in your transitions. When flagging your wing, it's not available to initiate your turn, so yawing isn't an option. As a coach, I've seen the huge difference it makes when a student switches to carving from yawing their turns. On one occasion, I was coaching a student on foot switches at his request, when I thought I saw him steering with his wing to yaw his foil board. I asked him to change to working on S-turns. When he demonstrated the technique he usually used, my suspicion was confirmed. Once I got him carving his turns, it was quite a revelation. When we got back to the beach, he said, That was a great session. Keeping my wing in front of me and turning with my back foot is so much better. I wasn't ready to learn foot switches. Summary and credits. Perfecting the way you turn your foil board is fundamental to mastery. Doing the S-turn exercise is a great way to hone this important skill, and it's fun. Return to it often. It's great when switching equipment or just warming up at the start of your session. Some of the audio for this video was generated by the AI-based text-to-speech technology at Eleven Labs. The surfing footage is from another channel under the Fair Use for Educational Purposes rule. See the links in the description.